Hello, my name is Tom Barker. For the next few minutes, you will be seeing portions of a live television program I am currently directing here at WTIU. It involves discussion of current topics that are of both state and local interest. Questionnaire. This is WTIU Channel 30 in Bloomington, Indiana. The following is a live presentation of WTIU Channel 30. Good evening. This is Questionnaire. May we have your question, please? Our guests tonight are Dr. Thomas Middleton, Director of Health Services for the Monroe County Community Schools Corporation and recipient of the Meritorious Service Award from the Indiana Personnel and Guidance Association, and Frank Monroe, Director of Health Incorporated and a former drug addict. Good evening, I'm Mac Heald. Questionnaire is your chance to phone in questions to the people involved with current local issues. Our guests tonight both deal directly with one of the major problems facing our society today, the problem of drug abuse. Dr. Middleton and Mr. Monroe are here to answer your questions and the questions of our reporter panel concerning drug abuse in Bloomington. If you have a question for either of our guests, feel free to phone it in to 337-8436. Or maybe you'd like to jot that down for use later in the program. Again, it's 337-8436. Making up our reporter panel tonight are Joe Stevenson, public affairs producer for WFIU Radio, Jack Linus of the Indiana Daily Student, Wayne Barfoot of the Bloomington Courier Tribune, and Sandy Ellett of the Bloomington Herald Telephone. Last year, WTIU took part in a massive education program on drug abuse called the Turned On Crisis. Using program material produced for national distribution, the Turned On Crisis was implemented locally by several panel discussions. Channel 30 recently completed a reshowing of the series, The Turned On Crisis, and its follow-up series, Because We Care. Last week on Questionnaire, local law enforcement officials Tom Berry and Russell Parks both agreed that drug abuse is the number one problem facing law enforcement here in the town of Bloomington. Because he cares, Dr. Middleton has devoted himself and his resources to the fighting of drug abuse not only in Bloomington but in the entire state. For his service, he was honored uh, earlier this month by receiving the Indiana Personnel and Guidance Association's Meritorious Service Award given annually to the person outside that organization who contributes the most toward its goals and ideals. Frank Monroe came to Bloomington as a drug addict and, one, and was one of those fortunate enough to come in contact with Dr. Middleton. Through the help of the doctor, he was able to understand his drug problem and solve it. With financial help from Dr. Middleton, Monroe set up Help Incorporated, a live-in treatment center for addicts. Recently, Help has run into financial difficulties and its future is unknown. We'll remind you again that if you have a question for either Dr. Middleton or Mr. Monroe, you can phone it in to 337-8436, 337-8436. We'll start our questioning tonight with Joe Stevenson, WFIU Public Affairs. Um, that word recently, referring to when Help Incorporated uh, ran into financial problems, uh, actually it had financial problems from the very beginning, didn't it? And uh, Mr. Monroe, I believe you told me that you were personally uh, had gone into debt to help support the program. That's right. I, I went into a, a partial debt, which wouldn't compare to the debt the doc is. reviewed studies that have been made, ways of producing education for within the schools as well as in the community. And so that these people are all very active and they've all got reports. The committee as a whole has been meeting with uh, <coughs> Steve Glenn and other people to really bring themselves up and to learn more about drugs and about the background of it. Excuse me, Dr. Milton, we have some questions from some viewers now. Good evening, this is Questionnaire. May we have your question, please? Is help trying to cooperate with other agencies in town, uh, such as the Middle Way House and the Center for Human Growth? <coughs> I guess that's directed to me, yes. Fine, go ahead. <coughs> we're, uh, we're trying to uh, establish some good karma or rapport, whatever you want to classify it as, 
with Middle Way House and with uh, the Center for Human Growth, we have uh, old conflicts that kind of come up with what we're trying to do and what Middle Way is trying to do and what Center for Human Growth is trying to do. It's unfortunate the position that the Center for Human Growth is in now with the uh, IU Psychiatric Center over here and they're going to try and close the uh, Center for Human Growth down, which I think Bloomington will lose a very good asset. The Middle Way House is in practically the same position we are. Uh, they're running crisis intervention and they're trying their very best to uh, get something together for people who are walk-in type situations and who are in a crisis. And finally, it took us about a year to get it together, but Michael Connolly and myself are finally working together and agreeing on some ideas and some thoughts that we've had input and input and in doing something <coughs> about the problem. Isn't there a chance that when help gets re-coordinated again and back on its feet that there may be a chance that uh, you'll coordinate your efforts uh, in finding a location, a new location? Yes, we're, uh, right now, we have a, a, a very good thing with the uh, Monroe County Realtors. Mm -hmm. And they have given us $20,000. They haven't given it to us in cash yet, but they have got the 20000 and they're ready to use it whenever we find a location that we're looking for. It's the Builders Association. The Building Association, I'm sorry. And this was negotiated through Jerry... That's Gene Walters, is the, uh, the uh, counselor who heads that up, are trying to delve, delve into it to find what patterns are, what the patterns of drug use are. Uh, but um, I think that, it, it's, yeah, very honestly, you have to say it's just a, uh, just a guess. But it's interesting that, that uh, three or four of us make an independent guess, and it all comes out fairly close together. Tom Middleton, Frank Monroe, thank you very much for being okay, with us thank tonight. Thank you. I'd like to thank the members of our reporter panel as well, and you especially, for viewing. Next week, Questionnaire will review the 1972 Indiana Legislative Session. One of our guests will be Mr. Richard Bodine, the Democratic floor leader in the House of Representatives. This is Mac Heald. Good night. of the preceding program were mechanically reproduced.